Greetings, comrades. This is Sergei Gilmov, and welcome back to another episode of HT VR. And today, I got a very cool weapon to show you all. This is a full auto shotgun. And I think anyone who's played any video games or seen movies lately are familiar with this gun by now. It is the AA-12. It's a fully automatic shotgun capable of 300 rounds per minute. And the cool thing about this gun, not only is it fully automatic, but it's a full stainless steel construction. It doesn't require any cleaning or lubrication. Plus you can drop it in water and, and it'll fire it and it'll still work fine. Very cool gun. Another cool thing about it is a special recoil compensation system. There's a spring system built in that absorbs almost all the recoil. So you can fire this one handed and uh, you won't feel anything. So that's what we're going to. One of the things we're going to show off in this video. And you see, we've got eight round mags, but uh, the real beauty are the 20 round mags. We'll get to this good boy later. But first. Let's go to standard eight rounds. Anyways, who play video games might be familiar with this one. At least, at least if you play Modern Warfare 2 or anything like that. But the, yeah, you notice there's no safety, no 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 fire select or anything. This is your select fire, as FPS Russia would say. But of course, let's just, let's see just how much firepower we can get out of this thing. Let's do 15 feet, since this is a shotgun after all. As I mentioned before, it is fully automatic. It fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. As you see, and that's just buckshot. One of the cool things about the shotguns in this game Many different ammo types to choose from. You got buckshot, you also got slug rounds, flechette rounds, dragon's breath. You know, the sky's the limit what you can fire with the shotgun here. So that's the uh, standard 8 round mag, but I know what you all really want to see the 20 rounder. Let's load it in. Actually, before we do, that way I don't have to keep spawning new mags, I can just pull it from here. And, uh, let's go a little farther. Let's try, uh, 30 feet. See, uh, well. Let's see how accurate we can get this far. This is buckshot for fire, but we'll try other rounds later. You can see right there, that's a lot of firepower going down range. So, drop that mag. And let me show you these different ammo types we're talking about here. Let me put this down real quick. So you can see, it's loaded with standard buckshot, but if you take this little ammo spawner here, you got many different ammo types to choose from. You got buckshot, you got cannonball, which uh, I'll show those off later, trust me. You got dragon's breath, flechette rounds, freedom fetty. That's a pretty funny one there. I might load that one up too. Got number two buckshot, number four buckshot, which is uh, basically the same as this, only a different number of pellets, you know, different sides of pellets, stuff like that. We got flare rounds, slug, and we also got swag 12 rounds here. Got high explosive, and I'm guessing FAS frag, and we got triple hit, which is basically three slugs in one shell. Not as powerful as a single slug, but uh, you know, it's still pretty cool to fire. So let's, uh, as I showed in the previous video, if you have a magazine on hand and you uh, select the correct, correct ammo type, you choose the ammo you want, and then you load it, load the helmet with that ammo you want. Let's do Dragon's mm -hmm. Breath. No, we'll save the cannonball for later, trust me. Little tracking issue there. And there we go, Dragon's Breath rounds are loaded, and Back up. Now, normally I'm right handed, but uh, we're gonna fire left handed this time around, so uh. And just to show you just how little recoil there is, 
I'm going to fire one-handed. And, you know, again, since I'm revived, I'm going to fire on the left hand, but let me show you. So you can see there's very little recoil. You can easily fire two of these at once and you won't feel a thing. In fact, we're going to try that. Let's go ahead and get another one out here. Move around this ammo spawn in here. And we're going to stick with regular. Actually, I stand corrected. Let's try a different round. Let's try... Let's try one of these swag 12 rounds. We'll save that for later. Grab our shotgun here. Hold it up. Climb it. Grab our other shotgun there. Hold that up. And climb that. And as FPS Rush would say, there is no deadlier weapon system in the world than a Russian with two AA-12s. Allow me to demonstrate. So you can see the type of firepower you could have when holding two of these, especially alone with frag rounds. Let's drop this one. Now let's try a different ammo type. Let's try... Let's do a flechette round. So basically tiny darts, which you probably won't notice when firing at a paper target, but when you fire against like a soul sig or, you know, you know, a, a mannequin, it's definitely noticeable. So, one flechette shell is dangerous enough, but what about 20? So you can see the type of devastation we are capable of with this gun, no matter what rounds we load up. Speaking of... Let's not go that far out. Let's try something else. So basically slug rounds are basically one metal slug. It, it's meant to promote accuracy and range. So obviously you're not going to have a spread of pellets, it's just one shot. But it basically turns this into a sniper rifle. And I think for the purpose of this one, we're going to spawn a normal box mag. So there's our slug rounds loaded up. Triple hits the same thing, it's just three smaller slugs instead of one big slug. But it's devastating nonetheless. Now if I knew how to clear the target up, I would, but uh, we're having so much fun that I think I'll leave it the way it is. So, let's get to the fun stuff, shall we? So we got the Swag 12 high explosive rounds. Let's go and load this up. Actually, those are already loaded with frag rounds, but, uh, you know, just for insurance, I like to load those anyway. And since they're slugs, you can always hit your target every time, provided, you know, you hold this up like this. Since, uh, this doesn't have any Picatinny rails on the bottom, so you can't mount a scope, uh, you know, a you know, laser sight or a grip on here. It does have a rail up here, which you can mount a scope if you want to. But, uh, I think I'll leave it the way it is for now. Now, we're getting some really fun stuff. Freedom Fetty. It may not be 4th of July yet, but, uh, with this game, and with these toys, you can make any day Independence Day. And, uh, we're gonna do it up close and personal. And, uh, move back a bit. I think you'll see why. It just fires confetti. So, you know, if you were to spook your target, but, you know, 
still want to say hello to them, you could do that. You can only move forward doing the, uh, the arm swing thing. So if you want a little celebratory action, you got Freedom Fetty. But if you really want to ce celebrate Independence Day, the way to go is Cannonball. And that actually comes with a warning, do not fire these rounds indoors. Why? Well, <laughs> let me show you why. You basically have a fireworks launcher in the palm of your hand here. In fact, let's try this in an outdoor range. Okay, so here in the outdoor range, it's nighttime. I think it'd be a perfect opportunity to show just what kind of light show you can get out of this. That is what the fuck I'm talking about. But, uh, let's spice up just a little more. Twice the AA-12s, twice the light show. And I think that's a perfect way to close out this video, comrades. This is the AA-12, very cool weapon. There's also a civilian variant of this available but it's semi-auto only for obvious reasons. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you look forward to the next one. Till then, that's the